This is Team Dim Boys coming to you with a deck profile from my man. What, what you got for us today? All right, so I put kind of a goofy build together. It, it doesn't sound right, but it's kind of consistent. It uh, it consists of rockets, metal foes, and the brilliant fusion core. It, it still needs some work. I still got to put some uh, snows and a couple other things in it. But Sounds sexy. That, it works well. All right, All right let's get so into it. for the monsters, we play three Magna Rocket. Which, uh, when he's destroyed, you can send one uh, monster on the field uh, to the grave. He doesn't target, I don't think. Could be wrong. Yeah, it just sends. It does not target. We're just gonna say. We're just gonna say it doesn't target. Got it, it doesn't target. Right. And then you play uh, the spell one, which is auto rocket. It does the same thing when it's destroyed by a link monster. Um, you can send one spell or trap on the field to the grave, and yeah, pretty OP. Then we play uh, the, the, the actual good one, uh, Three Shell Rocket. Basically what happens, um, when he's destroyed, you pick one monster in your opponent's uh, main monster zone, and it destroys it and two cards in the adjacent zones next to it. Dang, dog. Why yeah. you gotta dish your mama? Then uh, we play uh, two Metal Rocket because when he's destroyed... You uh, destroy all cards in the same call. All right. Sounds good. That's uh, the main rockets. Then we got the metal foes, which consists of gold driver. Then three volt flame, two silvered, and two stealing. Yeah, they're stealing the games. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, we got the brilliant core, which is uh, three Scorpio. One Cobra. I'm thinking about upping this to two, considering most of the time I open it in hand, and you can't really get that playoff with with Scorpio with a piece of shit in your hand. <laughs> then you play the one Garnet, the one Trick Clown, and of course the one Thousand Blades. Have you uh, thought about maybe adding uh, Lone Fire Blossoms? Actually, no, because it just takes up more room than you need, and just relying on Lone Fire to get that playoff doesn't work. And then for the last two monsters, you got to play that one grinder goal. Rest in peace. <laughs> and the one uh, curtain raiser. About to raise the curtain on this duel. That's it for the monsters. And, yeah, it's a pretty hefty deck. Right now it's at 58, but when I get the rest of the stuff, I'll make it 60. Is it thick? Oh, yeah. It's thick. thick. That deck is thick. Nice. Nice and thick. On to the spells. So we play uh, the best field spell in the game right now. Food sector launch. First effect, you can special summon up to two uh, rockets from your hand with different names and defense. Its second effect is gnarly if your opponent has more monsters on the field. Basically, you can summon up to the difference of rockets in your graveyard equal to the difference. So, say your opponent's got like four, you summon four from grave. Say what? <laughs> yeah. That, that, that's pretty, pretty gnarly, dude. <laughs> then, of course, you got the three brilliant fusions. Which is a must have for the Brilliant Core. Three quick, quick launch, because you destroy, well, you summon one, but it's destroyed at the end of the turn. Most of the time you're using it for links. You're just premature, yeah? Yeah. Play those two instant fusions, because uh, I'll get to that in a second. Because, okay. Yeah. Just because. It's funny. Because you like cup of noodles. Then you play uh, the draw power, which is the squib draws to destroy the rocket, draw two cards. <clears throat> Real quick, do the rockets get their effects if they're destroyed by the squib draw? No, it's they're only destroyed uh, by the effect of a link monster. Ah, uh, okay. Fair enough, fair enough, fair and enough. And then, of course, the two terraforming. Yep. Two twin twister, which is still a good card. Although I'm thinking about putting cyclone in because... Three force finished. burial. Yeah, my foolish. Then uh, one full metal and one metal foes fusion. Full metal alkahest. And of course, the Monster Reborn and the Regeki to finish off the first. Regeki. And then for traps, playing three Metal Foes counter. Because you can see that. Gross. Yeah, when the rockets are destroyed, you can chain this to basically summon uh, Metal Foes. Real quick, real quick, was that a common and two supers? Yes, I, I need a I need a third super. <laughs> That's all right. That's and okay. to finish okay. off the traps, uh, we got two strike and one more. Okay, so no solemn judgment? Uh, I hate judgment, because I don't want to pay half my life. Just that's so judgmental it. of you. All right, that's fine. I mean, if I have to, I'll take out a 
um, one counter that common to put in judgment. Yeah. Okay, so onto the extra deck. We play that two board load, which is a must have for the deck because you can't do quite jack shit without it. So you recommend playing two? Is, is oh, playing yeah. one okay? It's, is it, can you do? It's better at two because most of the time you'll first hurt it and somebody will find a way to get over it, and you need that second one to bring you back to an advantage. All right. Then, of course, for the main, uh, you play two Link Spiders for the Grinder Golem play. One Bomber Dragon, because the card's good. Uh, one Triple Burst, because during the battle phase you can actually uh, negate spells and traps like Mirror Force and stuff like that. One Decode. That one Akashic Magician for the Grinder Golem. Yeah. And, of course, for the other part of the Grinder Golem, you need that Proxy. And this card actually might come out because I don't really play that many level 7, well, level 5 or higher dragons, but it's just a good one of just on occasion. That's it for the links. Then we play the Metal Foes Fusions, which, uh, Orichalic, or however you want to say it. Orichalic, yeah. And then the Mithrium. This is the reason why I play Instant Fusion, is because uh, Alkaheist is such a good, good effect, but you always want that one restraint. <laughs> Because you always want to take the monsters. And finally, for the last of the monsters, uh, you play that one Seraph Knight for right. uh, the Brilliant Fusion Corn. Yeah, sounds that good. Nutshell That's it. is the deck. Yeah, seems interesting. All right, well, this is Team Nimboy signing out.